In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the magnitude and the direction of a vector uh, when you're given the vector in either uh, uh, based on its initial point and its terminal point, or when given the vector in component form. Now, a vector is something that has uh, both a, a size and a direction, or magnitude and direction. It looks a lot like a ray. It has its uh, uh, ending point, which is really starting point, initial point in this case. And it has that arrow. But unlike a ray, if you're a geometry student, uh, it doesn't go on forever. It has a set distance. Uh, and the distance really is the distance between P and Q. So vectors have two quantities that really are associated with them, magnitude and direction. All right, to find the magnitude, all that is is the distance between our initial point and our terminal point. So I'll use the distance formula. So just, again, this is the distance formula. 7 minus 2, quantity squared, plus 5 minus 3, quantity squared. And then I just solve that, uh, or simplify that right side of the equation. So my magnitude of this vector is the square root of 29. The direction of the vector is the angle in relation to the horizontals. So I need that direction right there, that angle. And the way I'll, I'll find that is using trig. Now, if we think about the vector in component form, this vector from initial point to terminal point moves, or it has, it has a component, a horizontal component of 5. From 7, I'm sorry, from 2 to 7, that is 5 units. So our horizontal component of this vector is 5 units. To the right. Our vertical component is two units up. Now, that's the component form of the vector. And the way that the component form of the vector is found is simply by looking at the difference between the x coordinates, 5, and the difference between the y coordinates, 2. And you'll notice the component form of the vector uh, ends up showing up in our distance formula here, direction. So we need to set up a trig equation. So I'm focusing on this angle right here. 2 is opposite of the angle that I'm looking for. And 5 is the leg adjacent to the angle that I'm looking for. Opposite and adjacent, that's tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to 2 over 5. So I'm going to be solving for the, the angle measure using inverse tangent. Calculator. And theta is 21.8 degrees, approximately. Uh, if you're unsure about this step, I do have a video posted about finding angle measures uh, using trig. So please view that if this part is a little bit confusing. But we're using inverse trig in order to find that angle. So my direction is 21.8 degrees, but now I have to give that a little bit more description. Uh, 21.8 degrees north of east. If we think of this here as north and this east, my angle is going up from east 21.8 degrees. So my magnitude is 29, uh, square root of 29, and my direction is 21. 0.8 degrees north of I want to look specifically at finding magnitude and direction of a vector when what we're given is just the component form. No initial point, no terminal point, no picture is given. So we've got to provide that in the problem for ourselves. Uh, so we'll start with drawing a grid. Since the initial point's not given, uh, and it really doesn't matter where I draw this vector, what really matters is that the vector I draw 
has a negative 4 for its x component. In other words, it goes 4 to the left. And it has an 8 for its y component, which means it moves 8 up. Since I get to choose where I'm going to draw this, I'm going to choose the origin. Origin just, uh, when you're doing problems involving coordinates, if you can have a point on the origin, it's usually easier uh, in terms of the calculations then. So I'll choose the origin for my initial point, and I'm going to go 4 to the left. The negative indicates left in the x direction. And 8 up. So I've got my uh, magnitude, square root of 80, which is the same as 16 times 5. Uh, square root of 16 is 4, so 4 root 5 is equal to m, uh, m squared. So I've got my magnitude for this. Now, the direction, we're looking for typically direction from the horizontal. Now, if there's a problem that says find the direction uh, from the vertical, well, then you just have to adjust a little bit uh, in what you're doing here to find that. But typically, and I'm going to focus on uh, the, the direction from the horizontal. So that's this angle right here. I'm going to look at this angle and see what I know. 8 is opposite the angle that I'm looking for. 4 is adjacent to the angle that I'm looking for. Opposite and adjacent, that's tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to 8 over 4. Opposite over adjacent. I'm going to use inverse tangent. Uh, when you only have the component form of the vector. 